Simon Michelle is joining us live from Big Securities. Simon, thank you so much for joining us. Now, tell us what we've been seeing in the bond market. We've been talking about money flowing into safe haven assets, you know, gold's been in focus, the dollar and so forth. How have we seen bonds tracking? Good afternoon, yes. And you're certainly seeing that reflected in the bond market also. We're seeing good, strong demand uh, pushing yields lower. That pushes bond prices up. And uh, right across the curve as well, it's interesting if you look right out to the 30-year, we're now back below that 3% level. That was as high as about 3.18, I think, in December. So it's really interesting. I think people are taking some profit. I think investors are cautious. Uh, and we're certainly not seeing uh, an increase in inflation or growth reflected in the bond market, unlike what you've seen in the equity markets recently. That is interesting. Are you surprised by that? Look, not really. I think the bond market really wants to see some details. So, you know, it's, it's much long, longer dated. People are taking much longer views. Um, so people tend to look for more certainty. And uh, I think that, you know, as you see uh, some policy movements come out of the US, you may see the bond market uh, correct and reflect that. But at the moment, they're, they're sitting pretty quietly. Mm. Now, obviously, you know, we've heard a lot overnight on, on Donald Trump's protectionist policy, certainly putting those words into, into action. And, I mean, he's only been a few days in, in office right now. Um, what do we expect going forward in terms of rate increases? Because a lot of it is coming down to, to fiscal spending, tax cuts and so forth. Are we seeing the bond market adjusting its view at all in terms of the rate increases we're expecting this year? Yeah, well, that's interesting as well, Ian, because we are certainly starting to see some stronger rhetoric from the Fed, uh, from uh, board members of the Fed, uh, suggesting that we could see a, 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 a larger number of increases through this year than previously anticipated. But the market, the futures market, still just looking at two. Uh, two increases for 2017. So it hasn't really adjusted that either. It stayed fairly benign through this uh, exuberance, I suppose, we've had. Um, and you're certainly not seeing any movement. So the market, it's pretty steady. As I said, strong demand. So investors are still very happy to lock in at these levels too. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing a behaviour investors uh, positioning for higher rates anytime soon either. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Aussie yields, tell us how they are tracking in those credit spreads. I mean, they look like they're tightening up further. Well, this is the thing. So credit spreads tightening means people are happy to take on more risk. That's positive. They're taking on, uh, you know, more, more lower ranked bonds. Um, but at the same time, you're seeing, and at the same time, I should say, you're seeing rates move lower. That reflects higher demand, pushes bond prices up. That's a positive uh, for those people holding bonds. So, you know, I think you're certainly seeing, although not reflected in the equity markets today, you are seeing a little bit of profit taking, a little bit of moving uh, to the, that safe haven happening here in Australia as well. Mm -hmm. um, bond issuance? Tell us more. Look, starting to really ramp up. Uh, we had that huge uh, Aussie government bond issuance last week and we've had a number of uh, non-Aussie issuers or offshore issuers, a lot of state-based issuers come to uh, Australia looking at funding today. And uh, we also have Suncorp uh, Metway looking to do a RMBS or a residential mortgage-backed security. So this is a, basically an issue of mortgage-backed securities to the market as well. So we're certainly seeing uh, a larger volume of issuance this week. Mm -hmm. um, just a quick final thought. I was reading uh, some commentary this morning. Investors also seem to be cautious ahead of more bond supply. So US Treasury is going to be selling, I think it's about $26 billion in two-year notes on Tuesday, $34 billion on, on Wednesday. I think about $28 billion um, in those seven-year notes on, on Thursday. Is this something that you're watching? Look, we're certainly keeping an eye on it. I mean, there's also been a bit of talk by the Fed about when they might start to unwind the holdings that they, uh, that the Fed's holding as well. But look, we're just seeing so much demand come up, Leanne. It's not just not being reflected in the prices. Uh, look, if you start to see investors not stepping up to these uh, these tenders and uh, uh, taking advantage of these bonds, then you could certainly see those uh, rates start to drift higher. But at the moment, you know, and this was reflected in our own, own bond issue last week, you know, we're seeing uh, well over one times bid for these bonds. So I don't anticipate we'll see any uh, any uh, volatility in those issuances over the next couple of weeks. All right, excellent. Simon, we'll wrap it up there. It's been great having you on as always. Thank you so much. Afternoon. Thank you. Simon, Michelle.